Hey guys, it's Nermi and I am back today with a new video. So today I'm doing a little video on being productive and motivated, kind of like a combination of tips and what I do as a college student to stay productive and motivated when I'm working, I have a busy college life and still making time to like hang out with friends and treat yourself right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. With that being said, let's get on with this video. So first things first, if you notice something different about me, you're right. I did get my hair done today. I have a vlog on that. Don't you worry. It will be up next week. If you're new, hi, welcome. This is my YouTube channel, Red Luna Journal, and it's pretty awesome. So subscribe. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the benefits of having a planner, a calendar, a agenda, whatever you want to call it, something that has somewhat of a chronological time frame so that you can actually keep track of your assignments and goals and stuff like that. So for me personally, I've always been a planner person. I used it all the way in middle school and high school, like the school ones that they give you usually. And it's just really helpful to actually keep a track of homework. That being said, when I actually got to college, everything is on computer and like nowadays, it's like everything anyways, but like specifically because my major is in technology, I was doing everything on computers. So I would just kind of put reminders as my agenda, I guess, on like when my homework was doing stuff like that. And honestly, I kind of set up a trap for myself because you know when those reminders come, you just click remind me in an hour. It's really tempting to do that and it's actually not the best way to do things because I always feel like it's like when you see it pop up and then you click like remind me in an hour or something and then it pops up again like you realize how fast time is passing and you're just like didn't I just click remind me in an hour so since I came back here this is actually my first time using a planner in college I don't know why I grabbed my knee like that it is my senior year and I am uber busy so I went out and got myself a planner now this planner is from Target I actually wanted to go to Staples but there are literally no staples in the area I'm in and there was actually one in like two cities over and so I literally drove 20 minutes and it was freaking closed because it hadn't been built yet but yeah Target is good too Amazon's good honestly like wherever you want to get it from so I went and got that planner and pretty much that planner it's not like the bullet journal ones because nowadays they have like some really complicated ass planners I don't keep up with this every single day like I should be just because I'm just getting used to it. I got it last week so I'm starting to get used to it and getting in that pattern but I write down all my homework, all of my tasks slash appointments that I have during that day and the nice thing about the planner that I got which is why I got it specifically too is that it has like a to-do list section too so it has kind of like three parts I guess it's like it has like the monthly calendars and then it has like the weekly and the daily stuff whatever and then on the daily stuff it's divided into two sections there's like a blank area with just lines where you can like write anything so that's usually where i put like appointments or events that's happening on the day that's isn't really like school related and then on the right side they have a little to-do list with like check boxes and stuff and so i mean i guess you could just make that yourself too whatever floats your rope out there i usually put like errands i have to run if i do have to run any that day and then usually just homework and like studying stuff or you know job applications that kind of stuff stuff that i don't remember but i need to like look at on a daily basis and it's so much easier like let me tell you guys it has made my life way way easier organizing stuff like that even though I'm not like looking at it like every single moment because everything's written on paper you know it's just first of all it gives you a more productive mindset because you are being productive but unlike like for example on reminders on iPhones when you complete the reminder it disappears right it goes into like its own like archive folder or something like that it's so much more satisfying and there's a different 
feeling to when you see something on paper and you can check it off or you can exit out or highlight it or whatever and know that you did that you know like that Friday or a couple days after you can still look at that and know that you did that work and so I feel like that has a big difference in terms of your mindset and just knowing that okay you did actually accomplish stuff because I think a lot of it is just us catching up and being stressed out and just being like oh I didn't do shit today like what the heck but in reality you actually get to track the stuff you did and then you get to see it too so you can at least breathe easy for a little bit so that would be my first piece of advice is get a planner get a calendar get a piece of notebook paper like you can literally do anything i saw on best dressed channel ashley she gets like mini sticky notes and puts them on a calendar for like things that she has during the day it's like the monthly calendar and then she also has like a planner aside from that and obviously she's like a busy youtuber so that makes sense and she's really hands-on so that works for her for some other people literally just having a notepad and a to-do list works as well i like to have a little bit of structure but not too much so i kind of fall in between so do whatever you want if putting up sticky notes on your mirror helps you do stuff i don't know that how that works for some people which is so cool so just come up with a cool idea something that you know engages your brain and it isn't like a chore to do like i don't even know if there was one time where i completed a reminder right away so it was starting to get really irritating for me anytime something like that would come up it would just trigger me and also it's social media well it's not social media but it's like on the phone it's media so it's just i don't know it's better to write stuff down but once again if the laptop thing works for you and if you're a visual learner go ahead and do that too my second tip kind of falls along the same thing with the writing part of it is writing down your notes depending on what kind of exams you have nowadays a lot of them are online and that usually works out fine because honestly I have too many classes for me to handwrite everything like my hand starts hurting so I only choose to handwrite like the specific things that I actually want to or I think are worth it but usually when I have like an in-class exam for example the notebook clips that you guys are gonna see of my notes it was for an exam for Python which is a coding language and so it was completely free response so for that obviously I like wrote down a lot of the notes that I took in class online so I did like I always like to do that that's kind of my studying style is you know writing everything down once again and then picking little things from all of that information that you wrote down before as well and then highlighting it and you know writing little notes of like what you need to remember and stuff like that that always helps me out a lot so yeah my second suggestion would just be to make sure that when you're studying and taking notes and stuff like that it's in the method that is best for you because it's such a waste of time for you to take notes or do something that you know you're not gonna even like retain or comprehend and so for some people like flashcards work for me i'm like i don't know i'd rather do quizlet than flashcards do whatever fits your learning style but like don't waste your time on doing something that isn't working for you when i first came to college i used to start by writing out all my notes because that's what i did in high school but the intensity of class load of college versus high school is so different that my hand literally started aching so much and it took me so long to write down all of the notes and so that's when i switched over to writing on my laptop because i was like this is taking way too long and it's just like it's hurting my hand so much too going with your style of learning and not like forcing yourself into like what your peers do or anything like that is always the best way like i have a lot of friends that always are meeting up for like group study and all of that stuff and I can't do that. I don't study well in a group. I just don't end up studying. I get very distracted. I start socializing. And so I can never do group study. Maybe that's my fault. I don't have enough self-discipline. I don't know, but group study just does not work for me. So just kind of going with your style of learning and making sure that you're making it easier for yourself to actually be productive is usually the best idea. And then the third thing I want to mention in this video is gonna be balance. So for me, what I've noticed, and it has definitely taken me a long, long time for me to realize this. Most of this realization happened last year when I was living at home and commuting to college versus living on campus. I really got to focus on myself, my learning styles, my mental state, my physical state, all of that kind of stuff. And so what I learned is that balance is the key. You know, spending too much time on something is never going to output 
in the most desirable result you might get results in terms of like grades or whatever because you're studying a lot or something like that but making sure you have a balance keeps you more sane in the long term which is I mean, you live for a long time, you know, so you obviously want to be sane. Paying attention in all areas of your life. Don't just be productive and motivated in one area. Obviously, that's easier said than done. I'm definitely a culprit of not having my life together and everyone is no matter what they say. Blank plus blank plus blank plus blank equals balance. Math lessons from Nermi. Making sure that you take emotional breaks. And by emotional breaks, I feel like that's such a loaded word. Taking time off of social media. Social media is such a huge part of our lives nowadays. And I actually have not been posting on my Instagram for about a month now, I think. I still post occasionally on my Instagram stories because of like marketing purposes. I don't know, I feel like it helps for videos and stuff like that when they come out. So I do that, but I haven't posted on Instagram in about a month it feels awesome my screen time kid you not used to be like five to six hours and i'm sure some of yours are even more because i know people who are younger like in gen z and stuff like that you guys use your phones even more i checked yesterday on sunday it was 45 minutes i was so proud of that i was like yes because honestly you don't even understand it until you actually cut back your usage of social media but you realize that wow there is actually a life outside of social media and you start to identify with yourself with your persona and live in the moment versus online in some virtual ass world that's like all fake anyways the amount of negativity that is introduced in social media and stuff like that is absolutely insane and we don't understand how much it affects us because it's on a very subconscious level it's kind of a trap like you don't even realize it Although it is good for many things and social media is the reason we have a lot of things today and communication and stuff like that, overuse or extensive use of it is damaging. But yeah, my number one recommendation, if you are trying to be productive, cut the social media. If you don't even end up liking it, you can always go back to it. It's not going anywhere. You start to become more present. And then that's what I mean by emotionally kind of unloading is, you know, for you to be productive and motivated, you have to know what you want. It can't just be like, oh, I know she has good grades. She posted this on this, this, this. So actually solidifying, you know, what you want and what you're striving for is really helpful. Now, obviously, other than emotional unloading, there's physical state, not physical unloading. That's like pooping, right? What the? Working out is good for you. Even if you don't want to work out, take some long walks, go outside, exercising is always good it produces dopamine there's nothing bad about it and then the third part of that like balance equation that i was talking about is social interaction what i've noticed is that when i just hound at my work and don't take a break whatsoever that's something that taxes me a lot so making sure to hang out with your friends spend time with family facetime your relatives across the world whatever you want to do little things like that in each day helps you stay more on track because it reminds you who you are it grounds you with the people that love you and believe in you and on top of that it gives you a little bit of break and actually like interaction with the real world which is so important i think it starts to become a chore when you start doing it all the time and you're like god damn i have to get back to that that's when it starts to get like really really taxing and so i recommend breaking it up that's always a good idea and the other way you can kind of break up i guess your productivity sessions whatever you want to call that is drinking water eating snacks eating some healthy snacks stuff you can crunch on promotes your brain to think something like that i don't know my mom said that and drinking water obviously aside from the actual health benefits when you drink water you automatically you don't have to pee like every 30 45 minutes and so you're forced to get up and take a stretch break or whatever like you know move your limbs around when you're studying so it's kind of a win-win you like kill two birds with one stone so yeah all right that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed these once again were just kind of tips that help me stay on track a little bit and definitely don't beat yourself up if you have a couple of off days because that happens to everyone also if i look a little shiny right now it's because it's literally 95 degrees in my car Ooh. so yeah that was the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope some of those tips kind of help you out for your school year or work year so yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.